Hi everyone. I uh, want to introduce myself. I um, my name is Linda. My uh, business is Linda's Rocky Mountain Vines, and I've done some videos back a few years ago on YouTube, um, which I think there's still uh, on my channel. But I wanted to start up again, as my business is quite a bit different from it was a few years ago. I've been watching a lot of videos of other YouTubers, and I kind of wanted to give back a little bit and uh, and kind of join the community in that respect. So um, my business, I sell all kinds of things on eBay, but lately it's been very clothes heavy, mainly because it's been winter and uh, that's there's no garage sales where I live. I'm in Colorado. Um, so uh, it's thrift stores, and let's face it, thrift stores have lots of clothes. So um, anyway, I thought I'd show some of the items that I've picked up recently and uh, will be getting listed soon. Um, and so anyway, let me get right to it. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about myself as I go along, um, and hopefully uh, I can get to know some of you. Uh, let's see, I got this Rock Republic um, vest, uh, t-shirt, I guess. Uh, the main thing that got me was the fact, fact that it's an American flag. We've got July 4th coming up, uh, lots of patriotism, so uh, that should sell, if not before, uh, as we get closer to the 4th of July, and it's, uh, it's Rock Republic. Now, a lot of these things I pick up, I pick up either at thrift stores or uh, I made my first trip to the Goodwill outlet bins uh, last week. So some of this, in fact, I think that item came from the bins. I can't always remember where I got stuff. Unfortunately, I have no memory at this point. Uh, um, so I, uh, I go to the thrift stores. I go to the, I now go to the bins, or I have once anyway. I go to estate sales. I pick up uh, clothing at estate sales. Um, and uh, I go to auctions. I go to pretty much any place uh, that looks like there might be something there that I can pick up in a flip. So anyway, next item is a Coldwater Creek size 1X. It's a, a long blouse. I don't think it's a dress. I guess it could be a dress for a short person. Um, and uh, it's kind of it kind of looks like denim, but it's not. It's uh, much softer than denim. Um, it's a 1X, 16W to 18W, and I know plus sizes do very well in uh, women's clothing, well, men's as well. And uh, I'm trying to think, I think I got this at a thrift store, but um, it's got some nice embroidery down at the bottom. And uh, so anyway, that should do okay. Let's see. This next item is Bobby Jones. But it's not a polo shirt like the Bobby Joneses normally are. This is a button front, long sleeve. I won't say it's a dress shirt, but um, you know, plaid, nice purple color. I'm not sure how well the color's coming in. It's a brand new webcam that I'm using. Um, it is high def, but uh, I may have to work on settings for colors and stuff. So anyway, very nice shirt. I looked up comps, did, and uh, these shirts do really well. But uh, there's the label for Bobby Jones. But Bobby Jones stuff does uh, pretty well, the polo shirts and all. Um, next item is Orvis. I buy pretty much anything men's Orvis. Women's, uh, I'm a little bit more careful with. They don't seem to do nearly as well for me. This is a men's uh, linen, 100% linen shirt. Long sleeve, button front. Uh, so yeah, I do really well with Orvis. Uh, they're, they're usually uh, very good sellers. And as for how much this stuff goes for, a lot of it I'm not going to know. Like that Orvis shirt, I'll probably try to get 20 plus shipping or 18 plus shipping. Uh, I do usually charge shipping. I know a lot of people don't. There's always the, the, the both theories on that. But I've tried the uh, free shipping, and I just haven't liked it. Um, I'm a top-rated seller, so I get the shipping discount. And um, so eBay, I do calculated shipping. And they... Uh, uh, so I usually make a little bit of profit on on the uh, the shipping, not a lot, but basically enough to cover the extra eBay fees we pay on the shipping, um, which has always bugged me that we uh, pay a fee on money that we don't get to keep. So it kind of balances that out in my mind. So yeah, so I usually charge shipping unless it's an item where, where all of the exact same comps are free shipping, then I'll do it just to join the pack. But usually I charge shipping. So this next shirt, it's a nothing brand that I'm aware of, American Summer Clothing Company. I got it strictly for the pattern. It's Mount Rushmore, US flag, double-sided, 
it's got the U.S. Constitution imprint kind of on it here. So once again, a July 4th coming up type purchase. Thinking somebody will, will want to look, want to buy that to uh, be very patriotic. And I, it's a short sleeve, um, I guess polo style. Um, so and I got, I did get that at the bins. So my bins are 99 cents a pound. So usually clothes is going to be a pound or less. So the stuff's going to cost from the buck, buck down unless it's a particularly heavy item. <coughs> Next item is a denim skirt. Um, yes, full length. It's pretty long. Um, the brand is Lena Jeans. I didn't know the brand, but I do know denim skirts can do well. It's a size 12. Uh, it does have the 1% spandex, so it's got that little bit of stretch. It's got the pockets, which are always popular. Um, so I'm thinking this will probably go at least uh, at least 10 bucks plus shipping, I'm thinking. But that was, pretty sure that was a bin find as well. Next item is a Loren jeans, Ralph Loren, kind of a black vest jacket. I think it's definitely not a shirt, so I guess it's kind of a, a vest jacket. It's hooded, black. It's a medium, although let me tell you, it's kind of a small medium. Because I think I'm a medium. Yeah, I guess it would fit me. Um, so anyway, uh, the the Lauren Ralph Lauren and the Lauren Lauren jeans I've done pretty well with. So uh, again, a thin find, so not much risk into it, and you know, I should be able to make bucks on that. Next, Rue de Four. Never heard of it, but it was just a very pretty sweater jacket type thing. Um, button, so cardigan like. Uh, here's the label. And uh, the sleeves are rolled up. I guess they're intended to be rolled up. It's just a very, very, very nice uh, blue and black. I just thought it was very pretty and I'm not sure where I got this either. It may have been bins. But uh, even when it's not bins, if I get it at the regular thrift store, um, I'm usually not going to pay more than four dollars for an item unless I truly know it's going to go for 25 or more type thing. Um, so generally my stuff's all going to be four dollars or less and if it's a bins of course a dollar or less if it's not particularly heavy. This I haven't checked comps on yet. I love finding vintage Ralph Lauren. I'm not sure if this actually is vintage. It's polo jeans, um, but it's got the spell out on the front. It's just a sweatshirt, a crew sweatshirt. Um, and it's got the polo jeans company, and that's always popular, especially when it spells it out like that. So I haven't looked up comps. Uh, I don't think it's anything huge. It's not one of the one or $200 type Ralph Lauren items that I've sold a couple in the past, but should definitely still sell. I do notice there's a little bit of paint on the uh, sleeve. I'd probably try and get that out or just disclose it. So that was a Ben's find. Oh, it also, that's kind of cool. It's got the side pockets. Is it kangaroo? No, it's not kangaroo. So it's got the side pockets with the polo jeans trim. So I thought that was kind of cool. Next is kind of a bread and butter item for me, Brooks Brothers. Uh, this one is a regular fit, non-iron. I love finding the regular or the slim fit non-iron, but even these ones uh, do well. It's just your basic blue dress shirt, very small. Uh, is that, it's not herringbone. Um, drawing a blank on the pattern, but I don't know. If it's really small, so I don't know if you can see it. I know that might be coming through. Good test for my new camera. Um, but pretty much just your basic. I got this. This was not bins. This was got a tag on it. I paid four four dollars. That's right. It's a little thrift store that I went to. I'm trying to think if this was one of the 75% off items, but it was. It was purple tag. So I paid four dollars for it. But I'll pay four dollars for these shirts all day long because I'll get 20 plus shipping for them all day long. Uh, now some pants and shorts, jeans. Uh, we're coming into summer, so swim trunks are really starting to pop. So I'm uh, definitely looking through them a lot more. Um, these are Rain Spooner. I love Rain Spooner shirts. 
especially if they're special themed. Um, but this one, it's just swim trunks, rain spooner, just have a, a basic floral type design. And uh, didn't pay much for this. Uh, most of this, well, I actually don't have any of the swim trunks here, but pretty sure I probably only paid two dollars for that. And a vintage pair of 550 denim jean shorts. Uh, high waisted, so what's it? Is that? Well, I mean, if it was women's, it's a relaxed fit 32, so this must be guys. But they're made in the USA. I always look for the Levi's that are made in the USA because that's the vintage, and uh, people like to get those, so. Next is a brand I'd never heard of, but I got it because of the pattern. I did get this at the regular thrift store. T. Harris London is the brand. Oops. There. I got it because of the pattern, because of these little embroidered horses all over it. Sort of similar to the Ralph Lauren, but it's not Ralph Lauren. Um, so I got it for that. I thought the pattern was kind of cool, and I, I know I didn't pay much for them. I won't pay a lot for an item that I don't know the brand or anything, so I wouldn't have paid more than two or three for those. Next is a pair of Chaps denim jeans, full length jeans this time, and they are a big size, 42 by 30. So I love finding the big jeans. Um, just your basic Chaps denim jeans. So we'll do okay on those. Oh, and I got. These jeans that I'm finding, the full length jeans, I got at 99 cent sale at Goodwill. So they were 99 cents, which probably would end up being cheaper than I would have paid at the bins because they tend to be a little over a pound. So uh, only a buck into them. Even if I only get 10 bucks plus shipping for them, I'm happy. A uh, pair of Rustler, basic Rustler denim jeans. Nothing fancy, again, 99 cents. This is uh, again a 99 cents. I paid Hollister denim jeans. Uh, there's the inside label. And it's got the outside. Uh, size 3130, button fly. And uh, that's about it. Nothing spe too special about them. Nothing horribly fancy on the butt pocket. But for 99 cents, I didn't even think twice about it. Next is Helix, or Helix jeans. Very worn, very broken in, um, but no holes. Um, a little bit of fraying down on the, uh, the, the, the pant hems. Um, a lot of wear, but again, it was only 99 cents. If I only get 10 bucks plus shipping, I'm okay with that. Size 32, 32, loose, straight, so. Next couple more here. Another pair of Hollister. Another basic Hollister pair paid 99 cents for. Nothing fancy. Uh, this is a pair of Lucky brand. Again, 99 cents. I don't usually buy a lot of Lucky because I know there's issues with um, making sure that they're real. Uh, this is Heritage Slim. 121 Heritage Slim. So it says right on the label what type it is. Um, they've got some wear, to, yeah, they do have some front wear. Actually, I don't know if that was built in or, or if it's actual wear. But uh, 99 cents wasn't going to pass them up. And last pair, another pair of Levi 511, 3030 30 is the size. Kind of an unusual color, these. They're not your typical, they're kind of a, I guess they're kind of gray is what they are, kind of grayish blue. The butt tab is the type that only has the R. Sometimes that can make a difference. Um, they're not made in the USA, they're made in Maritas. But uh, anyway, again, 99 cents. So that's the type of stuff I've been picking up lately. Um, just wanted to do this brief video and introduce myself and uh, see if there's anyone interested in me doing more videos. So I'm at the 15 minute mark, which I think is a good first one. I'll give more info about myself and future videos and uh, hopefully start getting to know some of you all. So if you have any questions, any comments, hit the, the like button, uh, leave comments, and uh, I will get back to you. Anyway, everyone have a great day. Thank you for watching my video.